do uh, alpaca you know all these people who've come in and uh, mira jane who've come in and really helped this mm -hmm. uh, tournament specifically grow as well as the discord uh means so much and so uh we're only complaining because we care we only poke fun at it because we care significantly and we want our community to get even bigger even better and uh, have more people involved but for now uh since we are back into the matches we're gonna have kevin batoy versus black sand and winner of the is this loser semis or where is this at sake loser semis. okay awesome so this is the money match where if you win this you're Ooh. in the money if you lose this you're just outside the money ah <sighs> hardest place to be yeah it's it's it's, oh, it's not a great place to be but Speaking this of money, it's gonna be a really good matchup here. Mm -hmm. Speaking of money, predictions are live, so throw that fake money around. Kevin Batoy playing Hitman, Black Sand playing Ranger. Yep. I think what Black Sand is gonna want to try to do is get Kevin Batoy right up to conversion or, or right up to awakening, and leave him there until he knows he can kill him. I mean, that, yeah. that would be the smartest play on his point if he can get to that point. <laughs> yeah, if he if he lives the tail to tail. Yeah, because. You know. Kevin just took that first round, so. But I think that would will be what uh, what the game plan going forward for Black Sand would be. Yeah, and that's what we all would like to do against Hitman for yes. sure. It it is more difficult, I'd say, for a character like Ranger, who a lot. Yeah, the Gunhawk, for example, that does yeah. white health chip damage. And yeah. so, like, it's difficult to not use your best tools at that point as well. So, I, you know, it, this is a, I would personally think Hitman would do better in this matchup just because I think Hitman is a, I think Hitman's a stronger character. Um, but it's definitely not unwinnable uh, based yeah. on the gameplay we've seen from Black Sand. Oh, that air to air is going to be huge. And he's going to stay above the grenade. Oh, that was, that so was great. Ah, oh, that was yeah, it's awesome. Being able to stay in the air was very clutch for him at that point. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, no, the the best thing that the Ranger has is the range on this, but um, <gasps> Hitman can contest whips Ooh. from full screen with his super at this point. Yep, absolutely. Oh, the oh. back dash gets caught out. <laughs> Danny Vance of Eel grab mid. <laughs> Great. That's good. That's solid. Yeah, but yeah, Boxer, me, me, Danny, and Bracket, and then, uh, and then if you, then if you win, then you can say shut up respectfully. Uh, <laughs> you can say it now, but I, yeah, yeah. He, he's not gonna listen to you. He shouldn't. Yeah. I mean, he put the respectfully there at least. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. He, yeah. We, he knows Danny's. You know, Danny's the man. All the grenades. Here we go. That set up. Got to hold that. Rolling, and the guard cancel. Okay. And he's doing a Fred Durst impression over here. <laughs> nice. I don't know how many people are old enough to know that reference, but. <laughs> you just bring up nice. yeah. your first time commentating. You. I did. <laughs> this guy just making himself at home. <laughs> what have we been missing out on for twenty weeks? <laughs> Okay, this is gonna be very close. Yeah, one more hit from either one of them should get well. Not one more spare hit like that. It's gonna yeah. need to combo like, into something. A good solid hit, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Like that. <gasps> oh. oh. Never mind. Never mind. I stand yeah, corrected. She, she had no meter, and yeah. so like. Oh, he he had just yeah. just a touch, but. Mm. Dang, that's rough, man. Yeah. That is rough. I I thought it may have dropped. I was unsure. I had never seen that conversion, and so I was like, hey, it's possible. Possible that it would, in fact, drop, but, like, yeah, that was a, a tough situation. But Kevin Batoy taking advantage, taking uh, going up 1-0. Yep. Being real aggressive with the guard cancel right out the gate, too. Mm-hmm. Nice throw. Good patience on Kevin's part there. Yep, yep, the perfect. 2M is such a great, great tool. Another, it's not quite as long as Vanguard's 2M, but yeah, it's it's close. It's another button that it has deceptively good range. Mm-hmm. Oh, the DP caught. Yeah, look, that DP does go like 360 around Ranger, pretty much. 
Uh, I guess not on the ground, but you know, everywhere else yeah. it, uh, it hits. And so it's a good it move. Doesn't to hit, use. It doesn't hit right above him. Mm. That's the only spot that it does not hit. So if you're if you're a Vanguard playing against a Ranger and they want to DP, if you jump right above them and do your dive bomb, it does hit. Mm. Yep, yep, little, yep. Little good extra to know. Vanguard tech. Yeah, very good. I do love how Dive Bomb interacts with DPs in this game because some work and others <laughs> do not. Yeah. Uh, it's a great time when you get on those that do not work uh, against yeah. the Dive Bomb. Okay. Yep, being patient. Got to work his way through all of this zoning. Again, Kevin Batoy ahead in games and in rounds right now. Hold that Ooh. grenade pressure. See, his is another guard cancel that has decent range. Yeah. Uh, and so might be able to, like we've seen already, get him out of... Oh, this is oh, huge. Oh, the follow-up. Not a ton of meter, but this is going to lead into a mix-up. Oh! Yeah, right over his head. Yep. <laughs> and yeah, the invincibility doesn't last the whole time. No. And so, you know, if you're going to escape one or two of those bullets and then go, uh, hit him, boom, you're in. Oh, you got a gun? Hey, I got a gun too. <laughs> Look at that. That's right. <laughs> but have you considered putting a sword on the end? Because <laughs> that's that's what I've considered as a hitman, is uh, just throwing a sword right on top of the gun. Right. Um, and it works out. works out very well. He also has got a radio, which is kind of fun. This guy... Oh! Okay. Oh, doing a switch. Okay. Right. Gonna see some grappler matchup here now. I... Did not anticipate this at I all. I did not either. Cool. I feel like this. Huh, this might be a slightly better matchup. But I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Tough. I don't know the matchup here. No, this is tough to say. Because yeah, I mean the damage output that crap is going to put out is yeah. going to be significantly better than Rangers. His guard cancel sucks, though, which, again, I, I guess I was thinking of him versus Rangers. That doesn't matter quite yeah. as much. But yeah, look at this damage. They, that, uh, oh, okay, yep. And now the timing right are quite on. Or it was just a uh, low, um, ducked low by Kevin. This could be a good yeah. combo starter. Or he's going to reset it to go into some pressure afterwards. Yep. See, that's oh. what I'm thinking. The parry yeah. might work against those jump A's. Yeah, I think it will. Uh, I the only thing that I would be concerned with is the actual parry whiffing. Yeah. At that point. Yep, that's gonna be the round. Yeah, because yep. yeah, if there's nothing for the parry to connect to, yeah, then there there might be that little issue. Uh, nope, you're right. We've seen that happen. Uh, not not in this tournament today, but, um, but yeah. you know having a number of grapplers in our community we have seen pretty much every situation you can think of uh, involving that parry and yeah there's there's some awkward ones Ooh, just a raw grab give you some decent damage here and he's probably going to keep him in the corner oh yep. yep and just does the jump the safe jump um overhead that one was not a safe jump but it's, that was just yep. rolled out by kevin See this hitman corner pressure overheads, overheads, Ooh. DP. That was actually a good call. <laughs> yep. Ah, uh, yep. And yeah, this is there it, it is. Good stuff. Yep. Wish we could have could have seen more of the grappler. It looked well practiced. Yeah. Right. It looked like the combos and the mix-ups were there. Um, but yeah, it's it's tough when you play a character, lose two games, and then everything hinges on your execution of what is likely a secondary or a counter pick um, yeah. you know, a character that isn't necessarily your first choice, right? There's a reason why you didn't pick that character first.